Hey everybody, today I have a video for you guys I know a lot of you have been looking forward to. I'm testing the efficiency of my Kia EV6 with my new Titan 7 TS5 forged wheels and comparing to the test I did a few weeks ago with my stock wheels, and the results might surprise you. So you'll remember I tested the efficiency of my EV6 at 70 miles per hour and 60 miles per hour with the stock wheels to get an idea of how much speed impacts efficiency, but also to get a baseline for when I changed my wheels. In that test, at 70 miles per hour, the efficiency was 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, and at 60 miles an hour, it was 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. I made sure I conducted that test in a manner that was easily repeatable. It was about 55 degrees outside with no AC or heat running. Tire pressures were around 38 PSI. I did a loop style test down the highway and back using cruise control. It was pretty simple, easy to run test. Well, now that I have my Titan 7 TS5 wheels installed with the same factory tires, I can now do a test to gauge the efficiency impact of the wheels themselves. Real quick, if you find this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and I have a lot more videos and giveaways coming for you guys, so stay tuned for those. Now before we get to the test, I want to talk about aerodynamics. So you've probably noticed wheels for electric vehicles don't look like your typical wheels. They're usually flat with minimal openings, which makes them as aerodynamic as possible to help with range. And the EV6 is no exception to that. Looking at the factory wheels here, you can see they're very flat and only have small openings. And they're also tucked into the wheel well, so they don't really get much wind resistance. And while they have a machined face on part of it to make it not look quite so bland, personally, I'm not a big fan of the style. That's one of the reasons I wanted to get different wheels. But when you get wheels that look good, they're going to inherently be less aerodynamic. So I love the style of my new Titan 7 TS5 wheels, the spoke design, how concave they are, every aspect of them I love. But with a design like this, they're certainly going to be much less aerodynamic. Every feature of the factory wheel that makes it more aerodynamic is basically missing here. It's not flat at all, there's huge openings, and it's a more aggressive offset, so the tires are going to be generating a little more wind resistance as well. So I knew there would be a drop in range going to the new wheels. The question was how much of a drop. To help reduce the impact, I wanted to make sure I got wheels that were very light. Rotational mass can have a significant impact on various aspects of the driving experience. Acceleration, braking, handling, wear and tear. And I figured a wheel that is much lighter should be more efficient to drive. And the new Titan 7 TS5 wheels are very lightweight since they're fully forged wheels. They only weigh 20.2 pounds compared to 31.8 pounds for the stock wheels, which is a pretty big drop. So hopefully that will help with the efficiency some. So let's get to the tests. I'm going to run them the exact same way as the previous test. I made sure I waited for a day that had the similar weather conditions, so there's no risk of that impacting anything. And I'm going to run the same route as before and just see where it comes out. So I'm going to get up to 70 miles per hour here and reset the trip calculation at the top of this hill like last time. And there we go, I just reset it. I'm at 63.5% for the BMS state of charge. You can see it's about 59 degrees outside and battery temps are in the low 60s. You can see the tire pressure is right around 38 PSI. All very consistent with the last test, so this should be a good comparison. Coming up to the turnaround here, we're currently showing 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour at 6 miles, which isn't bad at 70 miles per hour. I'll go ahead and get over here and take the exit. You can see we're at 62% for the BMS state of charge. Temps are right around where they've been. I'll come up here and do the turnaround and head back the other direction. This is the same exact route as last time. Everything's still looking good here. Now that I am behind this tractor trailer, he'll probably accelerate slowly, which might artificially increase the efficiency, so when I can, I'm going to pass him and floor it to try and even it out some. So 
So I passed him and floored it up to 70 miles per hour, and now we're headed back. Currently showing 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, and all the temps and everything look good, so let's see what happens. Checking in here, coming up on 10 miles, and we're still at 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour, which is really solid. Tire pressures have crept up slightly, but they're still right around 38 to 39 PSI, which is good. Temperature is still look good. And now coming up this hill, we're showing 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour, so let's see where we finish. All right, nearing the end now, and we're still at 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour at 70 miles per hour with these Titan 7 wheels, which is just awesome. The BMS state of charge is at 59.5%. Temps are still consistent. And it's holding steady at 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. That's only 0.1 miles per kilowatt hour lower than the factory wheels, which is incredible considering how aerodynamic the factory wheels are compared to these. That equates to only around seven miles less range per charge, which is, that's just awesome. Finishing here at 59% for the BMS state of charge using four and a half percent, which is the same amount used for the stock wheels too. Now let's test 60 miles an hour. Temps still look good. Climate controls are still off. Tire pressures are 39 PSI, which is right around the last test. So we are good to go. Theoretically, with the 70 mile per hour test coming in so close to the factory wheels, at 60 miles per hour, it should be even closer since aero plays more of a part the faster you go. So we should see something similar to the stock wheels at 60 miles per hour possibly showing 0.1 miles per kilowatt hour lower again, or maybe even matching the stock wheels. So we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and get up to speed here. A little bit of traffic I'll have to navigate through. All right, I just reset it and we are at 60 miles per hour. BMS state of charge is 58.5% and temps look good, and we are cruising. I'm going slightly over 60 for a few seconds since I did have to drop to around 58 miles per hour for a few seconds too, and I don't want the result artificially inflated here. Now we are back to 60 miles per hour and good to go. All right, coming up on the turnaround, and we are at 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour right now, which is really good. 57% for the BMS state of charge. Now coming down to 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour after that slight hill as we come up to the exit for the turnaround. And we'll go ahead and follow the same route around to head back the other direction. Since we don't have heat or AC running little stops at traffic lights like this don't really impact the efficiency. If heat was blasting and pulling five kilowatts, that'd be a different story. So that's one of the reasons I kept the heat and AC off. Now coming back up to the light to get back on the highway here, showing 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour. 56.5% for the BMS state of charge. Temps still right around where they should be and tire pressures where they should be. So 
So we'll go ahead and hop back on the highway here and get back up to 60 miles per hour. Currently showing 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour and still 56.5% for the BMS state of charge, ready for the return leg. Alright, coming up to the end here and we're showing 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Just like the 70 mile per hour test, that's just 0.1 miles per kilowatt hour lower than with the stock wheels. BMS state of charge is at 54.5% right now. Temps are still consistent. And yeah, it looks like 4.2 is where it's going to finish, which is awesome. Very close to the stock wheel result at both 70 miles per hour and 60 miles per hour. In reality, it's probably more like 0.08 miles per kilowatt hour lower for 60 miles per hour and 0.12 miles per kilowatt hour lower for 70 miles per hour compared to the stock wheels. And we're just seeing rounding here. But either way, it's undeniable how close it is with the stock wheels compared to these Titan 7 wheels. I think the fact that these wheels are forged and very lightweight has to play a part. I also think that while they're not aerodynamic, they're not as bad as some wheels. For example, they're fully concave, so no part of the spokes extend out past the tire. Some wheels out there to get a concave look have spokes that kind of curve out, and that would be even less aerodynamic, but I think the weight is the biggest factor here. So overall, I'm very pleased. I was thinking it would drop maybe 0.3 miles per kilowatt hour at 70 miles per hour and 0.2 at 60 which still wouldn't be horrible. That'd only be a drop of range of about 20 miles at 70 miles per hour, which wouldn't be bad at all. But again, with it only being 0.1 miles per kilowatt hour lower than the stock wheels, it's only around seven miles lower range, which is very minimal. And now I have wheels that in my opinion look so much better than the stock wheels. And since they are so much lighter, the car has better handling, acceleration, braking, and will generate less wear and tear. So. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you have any questions. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.